Hello, my name is Officer Irvin Pereira. I've been with the Los Angeles Police Department for 10 years, and I'm currently a field training officer at Olympic Division. Uh, I've been a field training officer for approximately seven months. I think it's a, uh, it's a, re a rewarding position. Um, you get to teach the future of the department. Um, it reminds me of just being a parent. I have a 12 year old son and it's kind of like supervising your kid and you're watching them grow. And uh, it's rewarding once you see them kind of evolve into P2s. Communication is key when it comes to uh, probationers and their FTOs, because at the end of the day, it's we, we both want to get home safe. We both want to get home to our families and, and that's very important. And at the same time, it's important that probationers learn the job so that one day they can be the FTO and then they can be teaching the uh, future of the department. I've always wanted to be an FTO, um, at least for the last four or five years. Um, you know, the timing is different for everyone. A lot of times uh, it comes a little sooner for some. And for me, that my opportunity was given to me last year. Um, I was very thankful for it. And I think that this is why I feel like Olympic has become my home. They, uh, they opened the doors for me uh, when I came from Rampart and uh, they gave me the opportunity to promote. You know, a lot of it has to do with uh, just feeling comfortable and I feel very comfortable here. I like it here. Uh, this is a community that um, my parents first migrated here in the early 1980s. They lived uh, in the area of 8th and Hoover, which is maybe like half a mile from here. And uh, this is home. I, I, I can relate so much. Um, there's, you know, a large portion of the community here is from uh, from El Salvador and uh, it ties into my background because both my parents are from El Salvador. You know, there's been times where people in the community tell me like, hey, you don't know what it's like growing up here. You've never lived here. Um, and I tell them like, you know what? I actually can relate. I, I did grow up in the, in the area. Um, I do come from the same, we do share a same background, similar background. So, uh, you know, that, that gives them a little bit of different perspective about myself and then that let that lets them know that hey there's someone from the same background representing them um, at Olympic Division. There's only a few of us that you know that are either from El Salvador from you know that have that come that have Salvadorian parents there's not that many of us uh, but the very few that are there we can relate to to the division, to the community, because you know, just the way the way we talk, the way we eat. Like, there's there's a few Salvadoran restaurants that you know they get surprised that when they see officers, and and to us it's like this is this is the food I grew up eating. Like, it isn't you know we, we come here because we like the food, we support you, you know, we support local businesses, and 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 it just we eat what we feel comfortable with. All right, so this is Denker Park, and I spent a lot of time here as a kid. Um, I was part of the after-school program, part of the summer programs. Uh, I joined just about every sport here, basketball, football, baseball, soccer. I remember just playing about just every sport, and you know, sports is where it kept me out of trouble, and I think that we've seen it in the long run that it works with the majority of the kids, like keeps them busy, keeps them motivated, um, it keeps them focused in life and I clearly remember just being here when I was like 10 and playing sports every single year um, because we lived in the area the baseball field was always like our thing we would just meet up with the local kids and we would play baseball and in the summer we would play flag football on this side and soccer on this side and basketball was always inside the gym and all these programs kept me out of trouble and, and I appreciate that looking back because they were free you know coming from a low-income family you know, parents probably couldn't afford anything but the fact that these programs existed and they were able to shape me up and keep me out of trouble I think that they should continue on forever and, and I see I see a lot of kids here so it looks like it's still working and it's still going on and I I love to see that I've always wanted to be an officer I used to see officers come to 
uh, to my elementary school for career day and I just thought they were just cool and I was like I want to be like them I want to grow up and be a LAPD officer I didn't want to I didn't want to join any other agency because LAPD is what I grew up seeing and, uh, and that's all I ever wanted to be and, and here I am and you know once I once I graduated college I applied and here I am 10 years later um, pushing a black and white as an FTO in the uh, in the community that 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 means the most to me, 